I royally messed up. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yesterday, I uploaded the wrong vlog. I re-uploaded the, the seven day foot challenge vlog. Uh, so I'm uploading again. So annoying. I woke up to like all the comments saying, hey, I think I've seen this before. Yes, guys, you have seen it before. A few days ago, my bad. I don't know how I did that. I think I was just so tired. It was like five or six a.m. or something. I was so tired and I just clicked on the wrong one. It's just annoying. <laughs> I've never made that mistake before. <sighs> it's very sunny. And obviously I woke up late. Well, we're gonna go and try and enjoy it in a place that I haven't been in a long time. So let's grab a banana and get the heck out of here. I think I have a smoothie as well. Do I have a smoothie? Yeah, nice. Let's go. There was no weather prediction on this, so this is random. I wasn't expecting it. I had a feeling it was gonna be nice, but not this nice. It's actually kind of warm. It's probably about 49 degrees, but it's still kind of warm. Wow. No. That's what the sky looks like? I'd forgotten. I'd really forgotten. Wow. Okay, so there's this dude called Marcus from my Discord. And he said he could fix my laptops. So I have both of them here, my two MacBooks. He's gonna take a look at them for me. I just need to get to him. He was like really close to my house. And then as I was getting ready, he went back home. So I gotta drive to him now. We're going the opposite direction to where I wanted to go today, but that's fine. We can save, save that spot for another day. We'll go somewhere else today. Back to my old hometown. The town I used to live in, it's called Carnarvon. I used to live inside this giant castle wall. <sighs> Driving one hand is really hard. <laughs> so I'm meeting Marcus down here somewhere so I can do my laptops. Man, I I really don't miss this place. It's honestly awful. It's like such a crappy town. There's nothing going, going on here, absolutely nothing. If you're a tourist, it's probably interesting for about five minutes. <laughs> and then after that, it's just nothing. I was gonna show you the castle, but I'm already out of there. <laughs> I used to live in Carmel, just back there. That's where I first moved to in Wales. Do you know what? I don't know why, but I know that. I was too distracted to actually vlog it, but I just met up with Marcus, Indian tech support on the Discord. He's a legend, he took my laptops for me. He's gonna take a look at them now and uh, hopefully get one of them fixed. And then that means I can travel and vlog again. The only reason I can't really go far from the house right now is because my PC's there and I need it, I need it to post every day. Yeah, I just I dropped him off at his house and he lives in this really beautiful area. I don't spend much time down here and there's loads of mountains that I don't recognize. So I'm just driving through them now, seeing if I can find like a nice spot to hike. It's a really nice day, so I would like to get up on top of all these hills. Yeah, look at this. Ready? Damn. Look at that. Wow, there's so many options here of things to hike. I'm in a town called Nantle. Driving towards rain clouds, so I think I'm gonna turn around and go up one of the mountains behind me. There's like no one around here. There's no one on the roads. There's no one in the, in the fields. No one hiking. Uh, I've got this place all to myself, and I'm so excited. Oh, I recognize this place. I have been here before. I was here in November with Poppy, but I didn't hike anything. <laughs> Jeez, dude. I 
and sheep are my favorite. They're so chill. They'll only move if I come walk over to them, but they don't mind the car. So I found a road. I don't know if it goes very much up, but I'm attempting it. I want to drive up as much as I can because I don't have that much daylight. I have about two hours left now. So I want to do like an hour up, hour down if possible. Or if I go up something, watch the sunset, I don't mind that. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know this area at all, but it, there's so many mountains I've never climbed. They all look amazing. I guess if I'm still here in spring and summer, then I'll, I'll hike as much as I can. Wait, where does that path go? Where? I just drove like really deep into someone's farm and this is definitely not, not public access at all. So I think I need to get out of here, unfortunately. Ah! Oh man. There was a sheep stuck in that trailer. No one was in the car. That farm was unusual. Multiple caravans, multiple tractors, a lot of vehicles. So it was like 20, 30 vehicles for one farm. Kind of, it's kind of excessive. <laughs> Whatever though, I'm not judging. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for that sheep. <laughs> Just stuck in the trailer, you can't go anywhere. All this faffing around, trying to find a, uh, trying to find a hike. I've now lost the sun, so now I'm in panic mode because I don't want to lose the daylight. I want to hike with some sun. I might go and hike something that I've hiked before, just because I know it, the sunlight will be okay there. I'm worried if I hike something new, I'm gonna lose the light and I'm just gonna be in cloud, which I guess is fine. I just like sunlight, I'm chasing it. I just drove past this property. Look how overgrown it is. Wow. Front gate there. You can hardly see the house anymore. Amazing, another gate. Oh, it's it's two houses, two completely overgrown houses. Very cool. So I just spoke with them. I think the farmer's kid. He did. He came over. Said the houses are unsafe. Which, yeah, I understand. Um, but he said the farmer owns them. So if I want to ask any questions, go ask him about it. There's also a graveyard here behind it. I'm not going to go into the houses because I'm barefooted and yeah, they'll see me going in. <laughs> no. Old graveyard here. Graves. Some more abandoned houses up there. Usually graveyards are next to churches, but it doesn't look like a church. It just looks like a couple of houses. I wish there weren't people around so I could actually go inside it, but yeah, I know, I've already been caught, so I can't really do that. All the ivy's like peeling off of it there. Curiosity just gets the better of me. There are actually three cottages there, side by side. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad condition. And then as I'm like hopping over the, the garden walls to get to the next one, 
the tractor like slowly drives past the houses and I just duck in the bushes. I know I'm not doing anything wrong, but if the guy owns it, I don't want to <laughs> cause him any grief. <laughs> but I'm just too curious, you know, when I find these things, I have to look inside. Weird space. Th this little village is strange. Proper isolated, like on top of a mountain isolated. So we made it to the mountain that I wanted to climb. It's gonna be a bit of a cheap climb, like I'm basically driving most of it. And then we just hike the last bit. But the view is so nice and we'll watch the sunset from the top. I look at my view right now. Just driving there right now is so pretty. Phew. This is so intense. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right way, but this is where I went last time. I'm gonna drive as far as I can and then walk the rest of it. <laughs> oh jeez, this road is so bad. There's an abandoned quarry up there, I've never been inside it. All right, I think this is as high as my car will go. I think, maybe we can go higher, who knows. Kind of wild what I'm doing right now. Last time I was here, I hiked up the side of it, but I'm gonna try and drive up around here following the road. The sun's behind there, I wanna catch the set. It's so nice, but <laughs> I don't think it's even drivable. I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> I mean, I've come this far. This is as far as I could drive. Like, look at the condition of the road. I was just slipping everywhere. I mean, if I went really slow, I could, maybe I could have done it. But it was just getting really difficult, so I decided against it. So we're just gonna do it off foot. I mean, someone else has driven it. Oh man, maybe it is possible. I mean, my other option is just run up to the top, which doesn't sound very easy. I just want to get the sunset. Really bad. <sighs> I think we're missing the sunset, but we'll still catch some of the color in the clouds. So it's kind of worth it. I cannot talk while I walk this mountain. It's steep. This is my obstacle. I gotta get up there. Oh. I do not have the energy for this today. I really don't. birds are making funny sounds because I'm up here. <laughs> Pew! 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 <laughs> They're all completely silent now. I tried taking a shortcut and of course it took me off course. <sighs> and now I'm back in the spot that I was last time, which is basically the wrong spot. So frustrating. I really gotta go up this now. It's just not safe, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera away then. Imagine for a moment it's your last day at work, and instead of driving your machine back down the mountain, you just leave it and never come back. It's really fascinating. So I guess they were just quarrying for rock, just straight up rock. I can't identify the rock, I'm not that. Uh, knowledgeable on rocks but there's a lot of it for whatever reason they decided to dynamite and carry it down the hill yeah, I should have stuck to the path it would have been there probably by now but no I decided to come off the track and try and climb I was literally following goat trails 
much following the little goat hoofs trying to get to a spot that I like. It's a shame really. If I if I'd have made up my mind on where to go today, I could have done it all, but I, I couldn't decide. I, uh, I, I realized on the drive that instead of hurrying to get places and to get the footage that I want, I need to hurry myself to bed and hurry myself out of bed the next day. That's where I lose all my time because I'm so relaxed about it all. But if I'm more disciplined in those two areas, then I have all the time I need to film. I don't need to rush it. The content would be more enjoyable for me to make and for you guys to watch if I'm not rushing it. And I'm just tired of filming in the dark. Like the sun's already set. I'm not at the top of the mountain. We're gonna be hiking down in the dark, which is, which is fine, but doesn't make for great footage really. And I've missed the sun's there, which is what, what I wanted today. Just because I couldn't make up my mind. That, and I also got quite lost on the way here. I'm supposed to park on the other side of this mountain, which brings you quite close to the top and it's just a little walk. But instead I came to this side, thinking I could drive further up than I could. And yeah, of course, couldn't get that far. But I don't know, I, don't know. I might keep going. I haven't decided yet, really. Some more work buildings from the 1930s. No glass remaining. Everything's abandoned. It's hard to tell what any of the stuff is because I don't really understand that industry. Like, what's this pool for? Who knows? And now it's just a pond. Okay, I've nearly made it to the destination. I think I am just gonna sum it, just for the satisfaction. I get the, get the endorphins, so. I'm pretty close, I'm pretty close. I'm just overdressed and sweating a lot. I'll switch cameras in a moment so you can see the mountains. Yeah, it's here. They built some new ones, but they're not as nice. <laughs> I like the old stuff. I have to appreciate the effort that goes into making anything on a mountain. It's a lot of effort. To get roads here you need machinery, you need people to lift stones. And then once the road's in you have to use the road to bring more stones up. It's just so much effort. I really admire people who build on mountains. I see. It's crumbled. Well, I guess we're going off roading then. It's so windy up here, I'm gonna put my camera away. Just enjoy the sky for a while, and then we'll head back down. I'm so far from my house, like I can't even see it from here. I'm about an hour away. Very nice. some sweet potatoes, peel them and uh, slap them in the oven. 
Now I'm doing some parsnips and then some tomato, spinach, tofu, some curry sauce, rice. It's a really simple, really simple curry. I don't bother really so much with onions and like all the nice tasting things because I just like the, the ground vegetables, like they taste nice as is. Okay, I'm gonna chop this up now. So rice done. Um, I don't know what veggies doing down there. They're coming along. <laughs> Alright, now put the curry sauce in. And then some tomatoes and spinach. Let's do it. Some espinacas. I try to throw like a bunch in because I don't eat enough leaves. Like, this is the easiest, easiest way to do it. So I'll take the veggies out of the oven now and just throw them in here. But yeah, I'm just experimenting. I'm trying to get as many ground veggies into my body now. So I wasn't eating enough ground veggies. It is complete. Yum, 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 yum. It's you! How did Logan Paul get Arnold Schwarzenegger on his podcast? How has he done that? <laughs> so good piece. <laughs> Jess was looking at me like, what are you doing, bro? I don't know what I'm doing, Jess. I'm up late again. My brain does funny things when I stay up late. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm tired. I ran up that mountain to try and catch that sunset and I didn't catch it and I'm tired. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm gonna try and get this up. I'm trying to get this ended. <sighs> oh. Whose idea was it to do daily vlogs, dude? My life is not that interesting. Uh. Maybe tomorrow will be good. I don't know.